A driver drives his truck along a straight level road. Figure shows a graph of his distance moved against time. Question B. Calculate his average speed from A to D. Take your time and think. Again, you must notice that this is a distance time graph, not a speed time graph. Average speed is known as the total distance divided by the total time. In this small journey, you can see that the total distance from the y-axis is 800 meters, while the total time from the x-axis is 30 seconds. By dividing the total distance 800 by the total time 30, this gives an average speed of 26.7 meters per second. Question double I. Calculate his maximum speed. In the previous question, he asked about the average speed, which was the total distance divided by the total time. Average speed means that the speed was not constant. It has changed along the journey. So where is the region where the speed was the maximum? If you remember the distance time graph, the slope of the graph gives the speed. This means that if you have two graphs with different slope, the steeper one will be the faster because it has the greater slope. Of course, the less steep one will be the slower because it has the smaller slope and hence the smaller speed. By looking to the graph, you will find that the steepest part of the graph is that shown by B to C. This shows the maximum speed of the journey. To find this speed, just find the slope. Choose two suitable points that can make a large triangle. Point C has coordinates of 22.5 on the x-axis and 700 on the y-axis. The coordinates of point B are also 7.5 on the x-axis and 140 on y-axis. By finding the slope, Using y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This means 700 minus 140 divided by 22.5 minus 7.5. This gives the final answer of 37.3 meters per second. The mark scheme awards three marks for this answer. The first mark is to find out that the maximum speed shown in the graph is given by the region from B to C. The second mark is for using correct data from the graph of the coordinates of the points. The third mark is for the final answer, which is between 36 to 38 meters per second. You must give the final answer in at least two significant figures.